Hey, what's going on guys? I'm over here, uh, just made it to my delivery. I picked this load up on Friday. I'm over here in Lubbock, Texas. Made it here. I got here, uh, started pretty early, started about three in the morning. So on this one, I'm gonna dump truck it on the gate, on the tailgate. They call it different things, dump truck or swing gate. So I got everything set up, ready to go. But you gotta remove this pin right here. So you're gonna undo that pin. You're gonna keep keep this one latched. Do not do nothing with that. And then you're gonna release this one. Obviously take your turnbuckles and it's gonna swing from the bottom. So you take the pin out, just set it aside. Then when I back up, I hit this and it'll swing. All right, so I'm back as far as I can. So I'm gonna release it right now because all this water. So you unlock the tailgate.
hope that caught it. So the, the tailgate kind of smooths the top of it as it goes. I hate unloading this way. You can see where it kind of swung down and I picked it up some more. Um, Cause you gotta worry about the things getting bent. So after you do that, you wanna do that a little bit and it'll push all the leftovers that's stuck up there down here so you can clean it out. And then, uh, I'm going to pick up scrap metal next so it doesn't have to be 100%. So, but that's it guys, that's how you, uh, you, do, you dump truck it or swing gate it, whatever you want to call it. I made it all the way to Wichita Falls, Texas. Um, so I started in Arlington. I took my load that was preloaded on Friday delivered it uh, to Lubbock and from Lubbock I shot up to Amarillo and got loaded and I made it as far back as Wichita Falls I parked in this parking spot right here with zero minutes to spare got me a good spot down here on the very end next to the curb it's not like I like um, so I'll have a little bit of road noise tonight but it's alright I don't have to worry about somebody hitting my truck on that side just on this side so I wanted to make this clip because I've been struggling uh, with my food again so I kind of I hadn't gone all the way off the deep end, but the food I've been bringing has been getting me really dehydrated. I've been bringing uh, beef jerky and um, a lot of packaged food like granola bars, Cheez-Its. Like I said, I've been getting really dehydrated, so I want to try something else. Because I'm going to try fruiting, and that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to eat one watermelon a day, and that's it. Hopefully that'll keep me hydrated enough. I won't even have to touch that water, but I brought with me just one little, little Tupperware. I've got this in here if I ever want to mix something that just happened to be here and uh, bananas and that's it I think I got like three cheeses left in here in my little bag that I carry but um those are just gonna stay in there until I finish them for one. Exaggeration. I don't know what's going on with this earth, but that ain't right. 109. Boy, it's hot out here. It's finally Friday. It's Friday, uh, August 18th. It's hot as heck out here. We got this record setting heat. About 110 degrees out here. Uh, so I ended up cutting my week short. So if you guys remember a few few videos ago, when I did my shocks, I was having some really funny uh, tire wear um, on the inside can't see it right now because I think it's over here I was having some really bad tire wear and uh, I've, I've been keeping an eye on it and uh, it wasn't going away obviously it's not going to go away because it was already river worn but I noticed the other side was starting to do it Let's see if we can catch some of this on here uh, you can't see none of it on top of that my front has also been wearing funny you can notice I don't know if you can see make any of this out it's been shaking around 50 to 50 miles per hour um, so I ended up uh, googling around here finding a shop I found one that's right here in Mansfield Texas called uh, Big Dragon truck and trailer repair dude's name is Danny Big D it's a Mansfield Texas 106 Industrial Boulevard five-star reviews I was really impressed by the reviews so I gave him a shot, so I called him up. He said, yeah, we can uh, take a look at it. So he said my alignment was off. Take a look here. He said everything was off, every single axle. That's what we're at. That's the steers, my front tandem and my rear. He said everything was off. That was before, and this was after. That's what he got everything to. After he did that, 
he said he noticed uh, my front hub was loose so he jacked it up and retorqued it down got it tight but he said after he did that there was still a little bit of play so he said my kingpin um, it still got some life left in it but he said it was a little wiggle in there so he said I'm fine for now just keep an eye on the tires if they get worse I definitely do need to do one of the kingpins I believe he said the uh, passenger side is the one I have to do um, so very professional uh, he was telling me about all the services he does there so I'll be trying I'll be using him on my next oil change but for this uh, three axle alignment I ended up paying uh, 459 and he even said my prices are a little bit higher than uh than, than other places but you know he strives for quality and, and good work that we don't have to worry about being out on the road and something messing up or not being correct but anyways uh, i'll check y'all on the next video